STEAM camp is an opportunity for students from all over Guinea to experience hands-on learning and meet with other highly motivated students from their region. It is a science, technology, engineering, arts, and math camp hosted by volunteers. Um, so basically, us education volunteers and some of the extension volunteers bring in our students to host an annual summer camp. Oh, the conference team is to share experiences with the students here, to make them learn certain experiences so that they go and also restitute it to the population. They're creating catapults, they're creating sundials, but they're also able to like, put their own influence on it. That's how inventors create things, how innovation happens. It gives a lot of ideas to advance. We have a lot of things here, like faire les colorations, arranger les ponts, et fabriquer des sauges, euh, beaucoup de choses que on ne savait pas, on a vu ça ici aussi. Moi, mon l'activité que j'ai aimé plus plus, c'est euh, euh, prendre les papiers, mettre les pirogues ou ces arts. I also think they enjoyed um, nativity involving recycling of plastic water sachets because it involves materials that are commonly found in their communities and um, they were able to make something new out of them. J'ai aimé plusieurs choses, mais ce que j'ai aimé de plus, c'est produire de l'électricité à travers certains fruits ou certains légumes. What we did today, we introduced them to the idea of journaling um, and creating their own journal. Um, so they practiced doing that and we presented Aisha magazine and we give them the opportunity to try out different um, writing styles. And at the end, we had uh, two people, two students present, and one of the uh, uh, counterpart also presented. My activity is called Pollution in the Food Chain. We're going to be looking at how pollutants make their way into the food chain, starting with soil pollution or water pollution into plants all the way up to the top predators or us. So we're going to be doing that with some theater and some outdoor gameplay um, to get them involved and running about. La création de gâteau, ça les a beaucoup motivés et je pense que ça a été plus simple pour eux de retenir et de pouvoir les appliquer dès notre retour sur les sites. Et avec ça, ils ont compris que comment faire les recettes, comment évaluer les dépenses pour minimiser souvent Parce que souvent on fait sans contrôler qu'est-ce que tu as dépensé, après ça, qu'est-ce que ça va te revenir. Donc ça donne un esprit d'entreprise, comment vraiment avoir quelque chose. I hope that the Hamalots, most of them are teachers, go back to their community and are really inspired to make their classrooms a more interactive learning environment. The theme of this conference is sustainability. And I think if they were able, for example, we did the plastic, sachets making them into bags. If they were able to share that with the community, it would like allow the community to have this sustainable project. Um, and it's like a student who's introducing it, so it's like they're making that change. So I think that would be really cool to see. I'm super excited with one of the girls that I brought. I've seen her new, a new side of her and her coming out and exploring like all the activities that they've been doing and expressing herself in a different way. It was two students selected from each village, so they take this um, opportunity very seriously. They're, they're these, most of these students are middle schoolers, some high schoolers, um, and they're just acting very professional because they know that it is an important opportunity. Mais là où je suis comme ça, je vais fabriquer les dessins maintenant. Je vais montrer mes amis avec mon père et la maman aussi. Quand je vais entendre bouger, je vais essayer d'expliquer ça aux gens. Je veux faire tout ce que je peux faire ici. Je veux tout refaire à télé si je pars là-bas. I had very high expectations about coming to this camp and I know that my student did too because she used to come to my house weekly and tell me how excited she was about coming here. <laughs> and um, this camp has exceeded those expectations. Every morning she tells me how much she loved sessions yesterday. I asked her if she was tired and she told me, no, she's excited. <laughs> um, it's a really great opportunity for these kids. Thank you, so thank, thank you, you, thank you, thank you. 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 L'information qu'on a eu ici, 
ça va vraiment nous servir et aujourd'hui et après aujourd'hui. Donc l'argent qu'ils ont investi n'ont pas gâté. Et ce qu'on a acquis ici, vraiment c'est pas pour aujourd'hui seulement, c'est pour l'avenir. Et merci, un grand merci à ceux qui ont financé cette conférence parce que ça nous a permis d'apprendre. Thank you. I think, I mean, it's like something that people say all the time, but that necessarily, this wouldn't be possible without the help. Um, getting all the supplies, getting all the kids here and giving them a place to stay, lodging and food, um, and that wouldn't be possible without you. I think we're thanked a lot by our students, but in reality, our job is to just bring them here. And so, passing it on from my students to you, thank you so much for your contribution. No, honestly, I want to say to each donor and person who supported and contributed to this, like, thank you so very much. It's easy to donate and to give to like a backyard cause, something that you're going to directly see, but the money and the time that was given to make this possible for the kids, I can't even put into words how significant, how important that is. Moi, je vais les dire, je vais, je vais les dire un grand, grand, grand merci. Parce que ce qu'ils ont fait, j'ai jamais vu ça. Auparavant, depuis que je suis née, je n'ai jamais vu. Et je n'ai jamais vu ce qu'on a fait à ce moment-là. Je n'ai jamais vu ce qu'on a fait. Je n'ai jamais vu ça. Maintenant, je vais les dire merci, merci et merci encore. Un grand merci.